Hey guys, welcome back to kit number five. And in today's episode, we are going to be building an automated melon farm that is unlike anything that I've seen. This melon farm will harvest the melons as soon as they grow. So we're going to take the bud switch that we've been using in a couple of our builds and we're gonna extend those into a melon farm that has a cascading bud switch is what I like to call it. So I hope you guys really enjoy this because this one took me quite a bit of time to design so make sure you sit back relax and enjoy so let's build this thing we're going to need a 7 by 11 area that is 8 deep for this thing so it might seem like a little bit of room but yeah <laughs> so let's get rid of these green blocks so the place where the melons grow is going to be four blocks above where the bottom layer of redstone is going to be. So let's go ahead and create that, which we got six that we're going with on this build. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of these bottom blocks and then put a row of blocks right here. Now we're going to, if you remember the bud switch that we created, we're going to do kind of a cascading bud switch. So we want to do regular piston, a regular piston, a sticky piston, and a redstone block. Now we're going to want to create the bud switch then which go out diagonal here, blocks across here. There we go. Now the redstone torch is gonna go right there. And then we're gonna lay redstone across all of those. And this creates a bud switch, right? Bud switch, bud switch, there we go. All right, so now we wanna take this redstone actually finish completing this bud switch. So we're going to block right here, block right here. And then we're gonna build up to be able to uh, turn off that bud switch when it needs to be shut off, right? So that is what that's gonna do. So now, if a melon grows, bud switch goes, melon gets broken, and they, <laughs> they'll all get updated. I just messed up on that. So we gotta update, update, there we go. There we go. Bud switch working. Now we have a little bit more redstone that we wanna also do in this area because of our build. So we wanna take a redstone torch coming off right here, go like th right there so that it's deactivated. And then we want to take that redstone signal and we're going to play with it a little bit. Um, so we want to bring it around and then come on up. Come on up here and we're going to place redstone right here with a repeater right here because we don't want these redstone signals intercepting each other. And same thing goes here. We want to place a redstone here, but we don't want those playing with each other. So we're going to go right there. So now we want a sticky piston right there with a cyan or a block right there, cyan wool is what I'm using. And then we want to be able to take this signal then and uh, we're going to grab it out with a, re a comparator or a repeater and then we're gonna put that into another block. So now we want to build up the part that pushes the melons down and breaks them when, they're, when one grows, I guess is how you'd wanna say it. So we're gonna take this signal right here, we're gonna go repeater, that's at four ticks, one, two, three, four. That goes into a piston, comes here, that goes out, and this is a two. <laughs> if you guys don't realize, I really like this whole repeater uh, block thing. And then we're gonna take this signal, and this is what's going to activate our, our pistons then. So this line is gonna go across, and we're going to take this line all the way across here and then our pistons are gonna run across this too so our pistons and our, our sticky pistons are gonna go across here and like so and then we want to place a solid block on those pistons so that no melons will go through it we don't want that one we want that right there we're just we're just using stone for this purpose i accidentally updated that so so that's why that went through so let's put that back so now let's get to the bottom portion of the redstone because this is the top portion of the redstone all completed. Okay, so when this goes off, this is gonna get activated, which activates this. So we wanna take that signal and bring it down. So we're gonna come here with some with some redstone dust and we're just gonna chain it, chain it down, I guess, run it down, however you wanna call it, down here. And we're gonna bring it across and down like so. And then this goes into a repeater at the bottom of that little stairway, right like that. So then we wanna make a hopper timer, which we're going to need all but that. So from here, we wanna place a block, a block right here, 
with a comparator right there and a comparator right there. Now we want hoppers that go into each other to make the hopper timer, right? Then block redstone and redstone like so. And then we want on this side where the signal's coming into, we want to place a sticky piston over there and a regular piston over there and put a redstone block on that piston or on that, uh, yeah, on that sticky piston. Now this is where we have to go down below. So because we don't, we're going to be running redstone right here, right? We don't want this to be messing up with this piston when we go over like, like so, right? So we want to, we're going to have to go down below here to do this portion of the redstone, which I think is just that much right there. So we're going to take this signal then, and we're going to go one, two, and we're going to go into a repeater, which is going to then activate this block. But then we are going to redstone it, but we don't want those intersecting. So we put a block right there and a block right there to go up and over like so. And then this is going to go off into this next part we're going to do. So now we want to handle the part where these blocks right here that the melons grow on get pulled down so that the melons can come across and get to the hopper that we have here at the end. So let's go ahead and build that. So we want to put a block at the base there and we're going to put sticky pistons going across here because we want them to be able to push and pull the uh, dirt blocks. So let's put those like so. And then let's go ahead and put those dirt blocks back like so. And now we need to power a row of blocks that go across it right like that. So then we're going to bring this. We're obviously off a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> so we're going to bring this redstone signal and bring it across like so. As you can see, perfect. It's strong enough right there. If you need to make this uh, stronger, you can put a, another repeater right there if you want, but it doesn't have to. So now this is going to be the completed design, but we need to obviously put some water in here. So one thing is right at the end here, we want to have a water source that is right here because this water is going to be what takes the water down there. We're also going to need a water source going across like so because we need water to water these plants or these melons, right? So you can, you can do that however you want. Uh, like so, that should be good. And now when we want to collect these, we can collect them in a hopper here at the end. And personally, what I do is I take half slabs just because they're, I don't know, I like using them better for some reason. I don't know, this is just what I had in the design. Half slabs that go across here, just so I knew, uh, because I have a chest right here in my design. So now when we look at this, if we grab a melon, we should be able to take a melon, put it on, it's gonna be that one, that one, or that one. It's gonna activate this, push it. There we go, and I didn't put items down here. So this isn't gonna push back, which is, which is, which is a bad thing. So now, that, there we go. We need to put items in here now. I would say six, uh, 32 is what I was using, and it seemed to work fairly well. Now, the only thing is, is if that goes off again, then I mean, then you're just gonna have melons sitting up here until another one grows, which is fine. So let's, I'll show you guys the, here we go. So here it is, like I said, it can grow on any one of these that updates the piston. So let's go see if we go right there. See, I did it before the 32 items transferred back. So we had a little bit of uh, leakage there. Okay, the 32 items back, let's do it again. So 32 items are there goes perfect so there's the working product now one thing i forgot to mention this is where if, if you didn't realize this is where your melons are gonna your melon seeds are gonna go so just like that so then when you bone mill these things your bone mill is gonna go right here on these guys and your melons are going to grow over there activating and there we go so that is something I forgot to mention. So let's actually ex try to explain a little bit about what's going on here, right? So we, we're we using the bud switch again where if these blocks get updated, it's gonna update the pist or the, it's gonna update the piston to retract and go back and forth. So that's why I'm using this cascading bud switches so that if it grows on any one of them, it 
like it, I just showed you, it it harvests them. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a smart system that is as soon as you know one's ready, it goes and you're good to go. Now the only flaw in this system is like I said, if if these 32 items don't get transferred back and this piston is still extended, well then you're gonna have this thing uh, break and activate with uh, these things potentially still being up. And then you're just going to have melon sitting there until another one grows, which there's no big problem in that. So what ends up happening is when this retracts, so when those get updated, right? Let's update this. Those retract, which when that retracts, this line gets turned off, which updates this line, right? Now, when that line gets updated, it's going to be turned on. So when that turns on, this line turns on. So this line turns on and the pistons go down and then they come back up. So that's what breaks the melons. Now that's just a simple little repeat, uh, repeater system going into a not gate that goes into a little one tick pulse creator. I don't know the monostable circuit is what I think they're called. And that goes into here to activate that. Uh, remember the timing on these because the timing here relates to the timing of this system so that those are retracted when those get pushed down. Um, so we take this signal too here then. So when that gets deactivated, this line gets activated. Another not gate. So when that gets deactivated, or get, this line gets activated, this monostable circuit at, activates, which follows this line down here, which activates this block right here. Now when this block gets activated, it pushes this piston to start this hopper timer. Now when this piston gets activated, this line gets deactivated, right? Obviously. So then when this line gets deactivated, those pistons go down, which allows that water source right there to flow down here to collect the melons in there. So we got our melons going here. So, I mean, it's it's a kind of a complicated design that how it works, and uh, I enjoyed building it a lot. It was definitely one of the harder ones I've had to date of building, but like always, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Dream big.